All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be going over the path mate. Uh, path mate allows you to move an object over around a path. Okay, so you give it a certain mate that allows this object to move around this path. Now, one big and important thing to remember about a path mate is that it needs to be one entity. So you, you need to make sure that you need to learn how to combine the path if you don't have it as one entity. Basically, if I go over this and select it, it needs to be just one path if it's cut up so if say for example this is cut up into one over here till this dot two and three if you select one of these paths the cube well after i made it it will only move up to a certain point so you need to make sure that this is all one entity so you're able to move whatever block you want into the entire path so let's get started on that open up your path mate exercise this is going to be also in your exercise eight folder and that's going to contain a block over here and a path, a spline that I've created. Well, I want to move this block around this path. Another big thing and important thing to remember is that the block needs to be floating. Okay, it needs to have that minus symbol on the left side. If you just insert the block, usually it will be like this, fixed. And if it's fixed, you're not going to be able to mate it to this uh, sketch. So you need to make sure that you right click on it and click on float and make sure that it is floating. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to mate. Scroll down until you get to the advanced mate. Scroll up and there's your path mate right here. So click on path mate and scroll up over here. So the first is going to be the component. The component vertex has to be a vertex, which means it has to be a corner over here. One of the corners that of the block. Let's go ahead and select this corner right here. So obviously path selection will have to be your path and you would select this path right here. As you can see, the square, the block lines up to that point to the beginning of the beginning point of the path. If you scroll down over here, you're going to have some more options. You can actually constrain the path to be a distance along the path. For example, a certain amount of distance that you can move the a block. As you can see, as I move this up or down, it changes. Okay. And you can also move it as a percentage along the path. So say if I want to move it 10% along the path. It will move 10% along the path. And SolidWorks will calculate what is 10% of this entire path and will move the block there. Let's go ahead and keep it as free. You can also, obviously, if you click on one of these, uh, you can flip dimension, okay, which means it goes to the other side of the block. And click back on that. You can also uh, have the freedom to change the pitch and yawn of the con uh, yawn control to follow the path. And you can select which path you want it to follow, either X, Y, and Z. And you can also flip it. As you can see, when I flip it, it flips around whatever axis I have selected. If I go to Y, okay. And also, the last but not least, I'm going to go back to free over here. Free control, and you can say up vector. And also, of the vector, you can select have the freedom to select a vector, but we don't have that right now, so I will leave that alone. Let's go ahead and keep everything as free. This way, we're able to move it after we're done with our selection. And click on OK. And okay again to accept it. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and take my block. And as you can see, I can move it all the way around. It only moves around the path. So even if I want to go this way, it's only going to go towards the path. Okay? It's only going to follow around the path. So there you go. If I move it around smooth, it will move around the path. The best way to actually move it around, if you go to the top view, and you can see how you can easily move it around the path. Okay? So that's how you use the path made in SolidWorks.